Hello everybody, my name's Garth Gratrix. I am a Blackpool-based um, artist, curator and collaborator. Um, that's three kind of jobs that run in one. I run a studio in Blackpool called Abingdon Studios, which is one of the few workspaces where artists can help develop their work, build new skills and raise projects for themselves to see ambitious ideas come to life and share those with audience and people in the future. Um, as a curator, there's a lot of various ways in which you can work. I'm self-employed and I work as a freelancer, which means I am my own boss and then I work in a way that is collaborative with other people that might have funding or are salaried in jobs who are seeking to help people achieve ideas within the culture and leisure kind of industry or sector. Um, as a curator, there's lots of skills required, a lot of organisational skills. Um, there's a lot of desire and determination around supporting other people and helping progress others as well as yourself. Um, and within that, there's skills around active listening and ensuring that you're supporting people in the way that they need it and finding ways or platforms to help uplift them to achieve those ideas in a way that is supportive and caring for them, as opposed to just your own vision. It's about collaboration and support in that sense. As an artist, it's, it's a skill set around being confident in your own ideas and your own thoughts, which often might not appear to be accepted on a mainstream level. I myself, as an LGBTQ member of the community, are, is often concerned whether my ideas have a space or a voice that uh, allows them to shine in some way. So for me, being an artist is about finding the confidence in yourself and looking at your own values and looking at how you seek to show those in a world where there are limited physical jobs in terms of galleries that will hire people, um, whereas yourself as an artist has many different ways that you can work and you can be playful in the way that you choose to work and on what scale you can do lots of smaller projects that are about workshops and working with people. You can do larger scale um, searches and research for yourself around your interests. A lot of my work is around how I um, strengthen visibility of marginalised voices. So I end up working in a way that curates exhibitions that represent over 20 artists at a time and make sure that I look at funding options. There are things like Arts Council England in the UK and many other funding streams. And a lot of the skills that you learn over time are ways of negotiating and ways of being entrepreneurial in the way that you engage with people to access opportunities through financing and ways to support artists in a way that they can also be paid. Um, something around collaboration in my work as well. I work with a lot of other artists. I really enjoy um, taking myself out my studio, which I'm sat in at the moment, and working with other people who work very differently to me. It's a lot about being open to different skills sharing and being willing to be challenged and not defensive and just finding really exciting ways to test your ideas in unexpected places and unexpected ways with unexpected people. Um, and I think that's a strive for trying to find extraordinary new ways in which you can work um, and not just take the existing jobs as the only option. I mean, there's some great jobs out there in arts and culture. Um, I've worked in a few of them. Um, I've been a project manager. I've led on really big projects from no pounds to a million pounds. I've helped commission lots of other artists and done really big shows in big galleries across the world. And the most happiest I ever am is when I'm working on my own projects and with my own funding that I found for myself. And, and it's hard work. It takes a lot of skills around research and a lot of self-determination to get yourself up every day and set your own schedule, your own diary. Um, no one is telling you how to work. And that's got pros and cons. Sometimes we're used to being told a way of working and it's, I find it really exciting to wake up every day and make a decision as to what I want to do that day that feels most important to me. Um, and I have kind of spent a good few years now deciding that my main values as an artist are values of collaboration, of humour and of place. And I take a lot of pride in being from Blackpool. I like to fight the fight around working class or people that maybe start with less doesn't mean that you end with less. Um, and I like to play with the aesthetics that we have from Blackpool and the ideas of 
eating and consumption and gingham and um, gingham fabric as paintings and beach towels and just ideas of rest and play and the joy of being away and in retreat or escaping um, and being the person you want to be. Um, I hope that's really useful or insightful for some of you. Um, if you, I think a message from me is if you wake up in the morning and think you are an artist or the first thing you think about is being an artist, then you are an artist. If you wake up in the morning and the first thing you think about is singing, you're a singer. Um, and I think they're important things to remind yourself and be true to who you are each day you wake up um, and find a path that works for you. Find people that support you um, and not just you support them. So people that lift you up and believe in your ideas um, and they will become your long term friends and your future working peers that you collaborate with as well and help opportunities happen between you. Um, Good luck. Um, all the best from Garth in Blackpool. Bye.